What is up, YouTube? JT with Resident Dog Fishing. Back with you on another Ginu project. Hopefully this is my last one. But I'm sitting here waiting on an Amazon guy to show up with the last piece I need to install my stereo system in the boat. As soon as he shows up, we're going to get into it. dude finally showed up broke my shoulder supposed to be here like four or five o'clock today it's pitch blackout but let's get it open see what we got my little Kenwood amp some of the little specs on it. That's it, man. Cute little lamp. So, what I want to do is get all the other components out here on the bench, and uh, I'm going to do a bench test with everything because the speakers I got they weren't new. Uh, as you can see, they may be a little worn out on the bottom of them, but they said they worked, so I'm going to make sure I do a bench test with everything before I start drilling holes and cutting holes in my boat. <laughs> so here's the basic components. You get your wire harness, but here's the little amp we just unboxed. My two speakers. This is the Bluetooth receiver. That's going to plug into the amp to receive the Bluetooth signal from my phone. But there's only a left and a right RCA coming out of here. And on the back of the amp, there's four inputs. So I picked up two RCA splitters to make these two into four. So let's uh, throw a little, throw it together and do a little bench test, see if everything works. go pairing pair all right connected on Bluetooth <laughs> bench test works <laughs> cool all right as you can see daylight out it's the next day I had to run the marine store get all the parts I need but I got everything to start installing this sucker today so there's all the parts and pieces i took the box that the uh, amp came in to cut out my template for the speakers got all the hardware my switch power wires yeah so uh the amp and everything is gonna go In here, I just gotta figure out. I'm gonna mount it probably right to the front, right there, so it's accessible and I can see it. So, uh, yeah. That being said, uh, there's everything. Time to get to work.
See, I also, with my template, I made sure the speaker would fit, and I had plenty of room to add the mounting holes. So. Now let's get to cutting out speaker holes. Yeah, that's going to be fun to scoop out of there. Get a camp spoon, see how that works. So there's the holes drilled out and scuppered out, if you will. And I drilled a small hole here, another one over there. The speaker wire is going to come out of here into the rub rail and then forward up to the amp. So the coat hanger wire, trying to fish the speaker wires through there. See how it works. One down, now for the other side. There we go. Ba Boom. Love it. some ends on these wires.
speakers mounted, so I need to cut my little notches in here to run the speaker wires up. this all up. I just had a brain fart. What's that? <laughs> so the which which wire gets the inline fuse? The blue or the yellow? Yellow. Yellow gets the inline fuse. Yep. The blue is gonna be your toggle. Yeah, I got the, I got the the red wire from the receiver and the blue wire from the pigtail going to the switch. Correct. And, and then, then your inline fuse will be on the yellow on your amp. Perfect. Okay. And then ground goes to ground, and you should already have an inline fuse on the power from the Bluetooth module. Yep, sure do. Yep. Okay. So then you're set. Inline fuse goes to yellow. Okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep. Simple, man. Thanks, brother. Almost, almost home. I, I am. It's just, I, I just got to run, run the negative wire, hook everything up, and I should be rocking and rolling. test before I really start buttoning everything up. So these two are red. These two are white. Alright, everything's hooked up. So now let's give it a test, see if everything works before I clean everything, tidy everything up. Should throw the switch. Should hear a beep. There it is. Cool. Now. I dig it. Cool. Now, we'll have to clean up all the wires. Kill power to everything. Boom.
son of a bitch. It's finally mounted. <laughs> what a pain in the ass, man. <laughs> Boom. Top two screws are hidden. Amps mounted. Let's give her a uh, one last test because everything's there. Power on, wait for the beep. There we go. the final product all you can see out there is the four bolts I have to mount the amp inside the console there's my speakers not in there pain in the ass scooping all the foam out but ran the speaker wires there down through there probably just put a little white silicone down there just to keep those from getting any water in it and that's my power switch on the left and I'll show you inside where I got the amp mounted. Good little light so you can see. There's the amp all mounted up. Ah. What a project. Had to call in my buddy a few times to make sure I got everything done right, but I love the way it came out. It's clean, nothing, everything's hidden. The only thing you can see is the speakers, and it rocks. It is loud. It's gonna be annoying on the water, but hey, gotta have some fun, right? Let me know what y'all think of it. Something I should've done different, something I should've done better, by all means. Drop it in the comment section, let me know. This is the first one I've done. So smash that like and subscribe button. I got some couple videos coming up, an outtake of uh, me fly fishing, catching trees, and my stick at anchor, all kinds of fun stuff. But hit that like and subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. Thanks for watching.